Undoubtedly, one of the main generators of pollution on our planet are the tires. All of this is confirmed in the mere fact of thinking that we are 7 billion of habitants, whereas seven part of it uses cars. That produce, in four or five years, due to the useful life of tires, four billion tires in this use that currently takes 500 to 1,000 years in getting completely eliminated. This generates a terrible problem for our planet that is currently solved by burning tires, which it releases toxic gases to the environment, or by throwing them to the sea, producing 80 Eiffel Towers every year of tires waste in the sea. Finally, a more hopeful strategy are the three R, reduce, reuse, and recycle. However, the quantity of tires waste is much bigger than the amount of material required for this alternative use. That's why this technique doesn't exceed the 25%. Then we must once and for all find a new solution. And we strongly believe that the answer is the use of bacterial strains. In this investigation, we have collected a bacterial consortium that is capable of eating tires. One of this kind of bacteria managed to stand out among the others because in just two weeks, it degraded the 4% of the total mass of the vulcanized rubber. This means that if we make the math in just 12 months, we could have the 100% of the total mass of the vulcanized rubber degraded. From 1,000 years to only 12 months. This is really mind-blowing. But now you will say, how did you prove it? Well, we tested through exposure to an economic bioreactor produced by us, which is essentially a machine that allows us to have a sterile system where the bacterial liquid comes in contact with its food, which is the vulcanized rubber. For the future application of this research, we have thought in three main strategies to degrade tires. The first one is the use of an industrial bioreactor. The second one is the use of a hell layer with bacteria. And the third one is the use of a bacterial spray. Finally, we are convinced that the strategies like this will allow us to tear down the wall produced by the contamination of tires.